Yo, D and T and H bars, they're both popping right now, going off. And I mentioned them in a video just the other day. So we're definitely gonna check them out. We have a great tweet from Jason A. Williams on his view on Bitcoin and how you should utilize it, when to take profit. We're gonna go over that and more in this video. So before we get into it, make sure you smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest in the crypto space. So just jumping right into it. I just wanna show you the video I made. It came out January 6th. I just wanna play a little clip. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Hopefully it's loud enough. DMT to be popping. They pretty much move very similarly. I mean, I'm waiting for 100% days. I'm just waiting for it. These are 100% days, I said. 100% days. Guess what? We had that. We had the 100% day. We go over to the DNT chart right here. We're on the weekly. Let's zoom in, of course, on the daily. As you can see, this massive candle went from approximately five cents. It peaked all the way at 20 cents, but closed at 18 cents. Massive, massive. If you guys have been following this channel for a while, we gotta pull the weekly back up, because if you've been following for a while, you know we bought down here at under a penny. Yes, you heard that correctly. We bought under a penny. Get, that, isn't that just crazy to say that you could have sold, you could have bought down here, and you could have sold up here for 20x gains. 20x gains, that's just massive, right? That's what's opportunities are out there in the altcoin space with the altcoin market. It's just crazy. These massive candles right here. I mean, just look at that candle. Just just look at that. Just massive right there. Yes, I mean, you may be like, hey, the crypto homie, do you expect this thing to keep popping? Well, here, short term, I expect a little bit of a correction, but you wanna know why I bought some below a penny? You wanna know why I bought some of this? We're gonna go over to CoinGecko and check out. So I first saw this thing. It was at a $5 million market cap. Keep in mind. Five million dollar market cap. I was like, and this thing's on Coinbase Pro. Pfft. Okay, it doesn't have a USD pair, but it has a USDC. Okay, I guess I got to buy some. And then I scrolled down, and I was like, whoa, all time high, forty three cents. What? Forty three cents? Are you kidding me? I was like, I got to buy some, because this thing's under a penny. This thing will do a forty three x, um, just to get to all time high. But am I gonna sell it all time high? No, I'm not selling at all-time high. This thing's gonna make new all-time high and make new all-time high and make new all-time high, just like Bitcoin has done. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing at a dollar, a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars. You know, peak at two bucks in this bull run. So that's my personal opinion. I mean, I, guys, I mentioned it before. No one seemed to really like it when I mentioned it back at a. Um, like when I mentioned it back at under a penny, no one really liked it. I even mentioned it right here, no, no one got that excited. But I'm telling you, this is where the gains are. I mean, the gains are made like that. You gotta be patient. This is back in, you could have bought, you know, in October before. I mean, you're talking three, four months. That's no time to be holding. I mean, just massive right there. But that's enough about the DNT. The, the other coin I mentioned in this video, it was earlier in the video, is Hedera Hashcraft. But we gotta go check the chart out first. Look at this right here. We just broke through major resistance, okay? Gotta adjust this. We broke through major resistance and you see it more clearly on the weekly. So as you can see, we the, right here at the 5.3 like cent region, that right there is major, major resistance. We had to break through it, we have to hold it. As of right now, we broke through it on the weekly. We need to hold this on the weekly and then create this as support. Because as you can see, um, let's go down a little bit. You know, we've had just a massive wick from, from when it got listed um, on Bittrex. So this right here isn't really like super accurate. But once we break through this, I mean, I'm telling you, things are going to go nuts. We're going to see some crazy price action. I mean, just crazy, crazy price action, okay? that That's all I have to say about that. And when I went over to, you know, CoinGecko with Hedera Hashcraft, hey, look, this thing was one of those things I actually got from the digital asset investor like two years ago. And it just seemed like a solid project. So I, I was like, you know what? I just, I just got to get some. It's been hanging around 34 cents for a while. So I was like, I just got to get some. You know, all-time high around 32 cents. So it definitely seems like a decent buy. You know, if you want, want one of those nice alt gains. You know, not financial advice, just my humble opinion. Something else you got, you need to be aware of if you are not aware of, because nobody else talks about this. Nobody talks about this. And this is a big deal. Let me adjust this for the audience out there. So 
This is the, to the crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin. And yes, obviously you could just read that right there. But the thing is, this is such an important chart. I mean, this is such an important chart. You just don't understand the significance. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So the thing is, our last resistance is going to be around right here. 420, 421 billion dollar market cap, excluding Bitcoin's market cap. We're only we we're only currently right now at 315 billion dollars. We peaked this week at 341, I mean 343 billion, but we have to get all the way up here, okay? Once we get once we break the 420, you know, and then especially, you know, the 475, I mean, we're off to the races. And you may be like, "Well, what do you mean?" I'm going to show you exactly what I mean with Bitcoin. So with Bitcoin, th this is what I mean. Once we broke that right here, you see that on, let's zoom in, you see that on the body right there. Once we broke the body at 19, at 19, what happened over here when we broke? Once we broke at 19, whoa, it was off to the races. Parabolic, parabolic X squared, shall I say? It was just crazy. So just keep in mind, that's, in my humble opinion, what's gonna happen to altcoins. I mean, what's happening right now, this is like pre-altcoin season. You know that pre-baseball season? This is pre-altcoin season right now. It's just warming up. Hey, we're just throwing the ball, you know, hitting the ball, just getting ready for it until we actually have liftoff and this thing goes vertical, okay? I mean, massive, massive. So, I mean, to, to see this thing at like a $700 billion market cap, I mean, we're seriously talking about going up all the way up here. I mean, that right there would be crazy to say right now. To say right now, it's crazy, but it's going to happen. And get ready for it. It is going to happen, and it's going to be exciting, and you're going to be making some massive gains. At least I hope you are. You know, I hope I hope so. I hope, I hope we all do. So you just got to hold and make sure to take some profit. Don't get afraid to do that. Alrighty, so that, that's my take on Hedera, Hashgraph, DNT, and, the, and something you know nobody else talks about. But uh, something, so, again, nobody else talks about this, and this is something I want to make my viewers aware of. Jason A. Williams, he mentioned, rethink your whole approach to taking profit when it comes to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is where the profit goes. You don't sell Bitcoin. Hodl. So, yeah, I mean, I think uh, he brings up a great point that Bitcoin, you know, it's the most scarce asset in the world. In the world. You can't even argue it. You cannot argue it's the most scarce. There's only 21 million ever going to be created. That's it. And institutions are already here. They're already here and more and more are coming. They want it. They want it. They want it so bad. So yeah, you take your profit, you put it in Bitcoin. You don't take profit from Bitcoin. That's just silly. It's like being a silly goose. Like, what are you doing, homie? What are you doing? You just don't do that. So what do you think about Jason A. Williams? I totally agree, agree with him. What do you think about his approach to taking profit when it comes to Bitcoin? Let me know your comments down below. And do you take advantage of the alt season like this to buy more Bitcoin? Or do you go buy a car or a house? Or what do you do? You go on vacation? Always nice to know what the homies are doing out there. So let me know down in the comments. And as always, this is not financial advice. Not, it's only, it is only educational entertainment purposes only. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Smash that like button. Subscribe for more content because the crypto homie is feeling better and is signing out.